Hi, welcome back. I'm Glenn. Big shout out to the girls at Ravenswood who have been studying satellites and GPS technology. I thought we'd draw one in 3D today. Now for our starting point, come across 150 millimeters and then go up 70. That's where we'll begin our drawing. So we'll put the point of the splat on that. But I'm only going to draw two lines, not the whole box just yet. When I've drawn those two lines, I'm going to draw a flat surface. Flip your splat, line it up to those corners and draw just two more lines. A little fix up there. Great. I'm putting a little mark at each corner. That's because we're drawing the cube upside down. Now I'm lining up the blip with one, match the other arrow, and then go ahead and trace around the rest of the splat, including that center line. There's our cube upside down, so we're looking underneath up to the satellite. Using a short ruler, I can draw an arc, which can be the planet's surface. A long ruler will give you a flatter arc. Let's do that. How does this GPS work? A device on the ground sends a signal into space. The aerial on the satellite picks it up and a transponder inside the satellite amplifies the signal and sends it to a transmitter antenna back to the device. And that takes a fraction of a second. If I'm moving towards that satellite, that time gets shorter and shorter. Whereas if I'm moving away from another satellite, the time would get longer and longer. You see where I'm going? So uh, four satellites would give me an exact location wherever I am on the planet. Uh, that's going to take some power. So let's draw a solar array, some solar panels. Find the center of that face and then put a mark inwards just a little from the corner. Draw yourself a line parallel to the other and then using a ruler, any thickness rule is okay, line it up and draw two lines on the top and bottom of your ruler. Now we're going to mark off a length. Mark off 90 millimeters and draw a line. I'm just using the end of the ruler there to draw the line. Um, leave your lines light until the end of the drawing and then come back and darken it in. So you can see where we're going. I'm going to darken or firm mine in now. And there'll be a few little fix ups there. So I'm going to erase those lines. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Come in from that corner a little bit, draw a line across the cube, line the end of your ruler up and draw some long guidelines. Come back to the start and mark off 90 millimeters. And there I'm firming it in. All right, that's looking quite like a satellite already. Now we need to hold it onto the satellite. So there's a little frame for attachment. I'm drawing two little pieces of metal. And these would be really exotic, super expensive metals because every gram would cost hundreds or thousands to get into orbit. Divide your solar panel into, say, three even sections and rule a really fine line. Let's imagine radio waves moving through space like the way uh, ocean waves move through the water. Some waves can be close together and they need a particular length of aerial. Other radio waves are a higher frequency and need a different length. I wonder what type of aerial a long wave like that might need. I wonder if that's why you have so many different aerials on the satellites. Let's go ahead and draw a platform for mounting some aerials on the bottom. So I'm drawing half an ellipse and I'm going to put a mark and slide the ellipse down and then draw a full circle. And that's my platform. And it's going to have many different types of aerials on it. Let's just draw some little half circles there and then bringing some parallel lines down all those aerials are facing one particular spot that it's transmitting to. So down on Earth, there would be a receiver. 
let's draw a different size antenna aerial there. You can design your own. Maybe you'll be one of the people designing satellites very soon. Let's draw a big antenna. We'll put a little arm coming out from the satellite. See those two little marks on the small ellipse? I'm going to line them up with one of those vertical lines. Just slide it straight down. Draw one ellipse, slide it up and then half. Join the sides and that is the mount. Now the large antenna, um, I'm copying off a satellite photo, but you could um, have a go at designing your own or maybe do some research on different shapes of antennas. The sun will cast a shadow. So on the left hand side of all those round objects, I'm just darkening in a little shadow there and it helps make it look 3D. All satellites will need a grab point. So we're going to put a hole in the side. Line up the blips with that angle and draw a small ellipse. And inside that, we're going to draw an even smaller ellipse, but it's touching one side. Looks like a kind of cone shape. Imagine the arm holding onto it and then detaches and the satellite floats away. Now we need to draw the piece of metal that that holes in. So in any method you like, you can design a piece of metal. I'm just drawing it the same shape as the face of the satellite with four lines. Let's give it some thickness. From each of those corners, I'm drawing a short line in that direction. One, two, three. At the bottom, we'll copy that line and we'll copy that line right there. A satellite needs a way to line itself up to know where it's pointing. On the top, we're going to draw a small box. That has actually a camera and it looks out and locks onto a star. So it can always be pointing to the right direction of the ground. Clever. If it needs to move itself, it has little rockets called thrusters. The solar panels pack away really tightly like a fan. And then when it's in space, they need to deploy. So they need to spread out like a fan opening up in that direction. Here's the linkages that perform that. Halfway along that panel, come up a little. Halfway along that panel, come down, keep going, and then back up again. Those are the little rods, linkages that um, deploy. Make them look like a rod by adding a second line right beside that one. Uh, out in space, the solar radiation is quite harsh and little charged particles need to be reflected away. So on the two sides of the satellite that are facing the sun, we're going to draw a foil. So to draw a foil, we need some crinkles. Pick a spot like a corner and then kind of make all the crinkles roughly head towards it. On this side, we'll do the same. Let's draw some little crinkles heading towards that corner and all around. Cool. Wrap your foil a little around the corner of the other face and then end it with a wavy line. Here's a piece of metal that the solar panels will attach to. You could design your own in any shape you like. Remember one side of the satellite facing towards the sun is blisteringly hot and the other side facing away could be minus 150 degrees easily. So um, it's a really harsh environment. Now that I've finished um, the detail, I'm going to go around the outside of the object and firm in those lines, including the little antennas. And the side facing away from the sun, I'm just going to put in a shadow with a series of lines. The circles too can also get their little bit of shadow treatment. Thanks for drawing with me today. I've really enjoyed it. I know you'll do a fantastic job and until next time, Keep designing.